In this five and a half minute video, I'm going to show you how to use Map My Mail. Map My Mail allows you to generate a mailing list based on geographic criteria. To begin, we're going to enter a starting address, and this should be near the center of the area that you want to target. After you have the address entered, press Begin Search. Now we have the opportunity to customize the list. Here on the right hand side, you see all of the households marked by a red marker on a map. These households were picked based on these options here, and we're going to go through all of these options right now. The first option is your starting address. This is the address that we just typed in. If you need to change that, you can click this Edit button. Next is Selection Points. By default, Map My Mail goes out one mile from your starting address. If we want to change that, click the Edit button. Now we can type in how many miles out we want Map My Mail to search in from the starting address. Let's say we want to change it to half a mile, so we'll type in 0.5 and then press the Select Area button. You'll also see that the map has updated based on our new criteria. The next option is for Selection Criteria. By default, we're looking at homeowners only, but we have several other options. So let's click the Edit button to see those. Here we have four choices. By default, you'll get a list of homeowners, and this is great for a just listed or a just sold postcard. The next selection is Absentee Owners, which will generate a list of owners who do not live in the home shown on the map, and that's great for property management and investor marketing. The next option is Homeowners and Absentee Owners, which basically combines the first two lists. The final option is Properties Only, and this will generate a mailing list of every single property within the search area. And this is a great way to saturate the entire neighborhood, including renters, vacation homes, and second home markets. After you've made your selection, click the Save New Criteria button. The next option is the Maximum Number of Records. By default, this is set to 500. If you want to change that number, click this Edit button. And let's say we want a mailing list of 250 homeowners, so we'll just type in 250 and then click Update Count. When you change the number of records, either lower or higher, Map My Mail will always grab the closest properties to the starting address. The next option is Included Streets. By default, we will include all streets. If we want to view the included streets, click the Edit button. Now we see a list of every street that's included in our current search. If nothing is checked here, it will include all streets. However, if we check some of these streets, then only those streets will be included. I'll show you an example. I've selected four streets, and as you see here on the right, the map has updated to show you where the properties are on these four streets. If you only want to include these four streets, you can click the Finished button. For our example here, I'm going to uncheck those four streets and then click Finished to go back. The next option is Excluded Streets which is basically the opposite of the Included Streets option. Let's click the Edit button. Here we see the same list of street names, but here, if you check a street, it will exclude it from our search. Now, whatever streets we check here, they will not be in our final mailing list. And the final option is to view the list and exclude specific records. This is useful if you want to exclude a specific property from your mailing list. So let's click the Edit button. Here you'll see a list of every property that's currently included in our search. If you want to exclude one or more of these properties, click this Exclude link. And when you're done, click Finished. One of the most powerful features of Map My Mail is the ability to include or exclude properties based on an actual map. In our example here, let's say I don't want these properties on the west side of Philippi Creek. I can easily exclude those. To do that, I'm going to grab the handle right here in the upper left-hand corner of the map, and I'm going to drag it down, let's say to right about here. And by doing that, 
I've eliminated all the properties on the west side of Philippi Creek. However, I've also lost the properties up here that I want to keep. That's an easy fix. I'm going to take this handle, which is in the middle of the top line, and drag it up like this to include that street again. And now you see that the properties have reappeared. Now with my criteria complete, I can enter a name for this list. And then click Purchase List. And that will add the mailing list to your shopping cart. You can now buy the list all by itself, or you can use that list with a postcard order. If you have any other questions, please contact us at 866-405-3638 or email us support at prospectsplus.com.